Good afternoon, my name is Austin. I'm a salesman here at Mercedes-Benz of Manchester. And today we're gonna to be looking at how well a mid-sized dog fits in all of our mid-size to full-size SUVs. Now helping us today, we have Coda. He's an 85 pound golden retriever. So let's take a look at the SUVs, open them up and see how he fits inside. Now the vehicles that we'll be taking a look at today are going to be the GLB, the GLC, the GLE, and the GLS. Now first starting with the GLB, as you can see, it's not very high off the ground, so it's pretty easy for Coda to get up. Coda, come on, come on. Now once he's inside, I have the seats in the back folded all the way forward and pushed all the way forward, so he has plenty of room back here. Now as you can see with the seats folded forward and pushed forward and the GLB as far forward as possible, he has plenty of room back there, he has plenty of headroom and can sit back there comfortably. Now moving to the GLC. Now the GLC sits a little bit higher than the GLB, so it's a little bit more difficult for him to get in the back. There's also a little bit less cargo space in the back here, seeing as the seats are a little bit further back. Now you can also slide forward the seats in the GLB where you cannot in the GLC. However, what you can do is fold down the rear seats flat using this switch and this switch here. That's gonna give him the whole back area of the vehicle to sit in. Now, as you can see, sitting inside the GLC, he has plenty of headroom. He fits quite nicely in the back area here, but in order to have enough room for him really in the back, you do need to fold down those back seats, giving him that whole back area of the vehicle. Now moving to the GLE. Now the GLE, as you can see, is even higher than the GLC, which is gonna make it more difficult for him to get in. However, this particular vehicle was equipped with the Airmatic suspension package, which allows you to lower the vehicle, and you'll be able to do that with this switch here. Now with the suspension lower, that actually makes it lower than the GLC at full height. So it makes it even easier to get into than the GLC. This vehicle does have to be equipped with that Airmatic suspension in order for that feature to work. Now sitting inside the GLE, you have plenty more space than the GLC. If you have the third row seat package equipped in this vehicle, you can also slide forward that second row, giving him even more space in the back here. Now finally looking at the GLS. Now as you can see looking inside here, the GLS already has a third row that is standard. We have those seats folded down already, giving us plenty of space in the back of the GLS here. We also can fold down the third row by pressing these two switches here. Those are going to give us even more room in the back. And as you can imagine, the largest vehicle is the most spacious for your dog if they are going to be traveling in the back seat. Now, all GLS 450s for the 2020 model year also come with the Airmatic suspension, which allows you to lower the back end just as you were able to with the GLE. Now we have the tailgate lowered, the back end of the vehicle lowered with the Airmatic suspension. We can take a look at how easy it is for Coda to get into the back of the vehicle. Now, as we can see sitting in the GLS, he has plenty of space. Of course, with all seats folded down, he can kind of just roam around back here. You can, of course, purchase all weather floor mats if you don't want to get the back end carpeting dirty or hairy with the Golden Retriever's lovely coat. Thank you so much for watching. Again, my name is Austin. If you have any additional questions, please feel free to contact me directly at 603-669-6788. My extension is 220-211. You can also email me at alunt at driveprime.com.